we go. And I've got the um, bits and pieces that you asked oh, me to get. Brilliant, thank you. Just makes it easier than me showing oh, up. Yeah, the yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, much better. Okay. So, shall we just start off and see how good your pointing is today, before we start? Let's just see. Put that biscuit down for a minute. <laughs> touch A. Good. E. Touch M. Good. Touch Y. Good. And you. Very nice. Which is good. Super. So, <clears throat> in 1824, so just... No, nearly 200 years ago, French man, a very young French man named Louis Braille, lost his sight aged just 15 in an accident. So, just to get us started, what did he lose? Oh, put those down. He lost his sight. Yeah, he lost his sight. Go on, not the S. I guess better. G H T. He lost his sight. That's right. Now Louis was a very intelligent young man, and he loved learning. Um, and realising that he still wanted to read and gain knowledge about everything that he could, he went on to develop a system enabling him to read, and it called it after his surname, Braille. And it was used by blind or visually impaired people all over the world, even up to modern day. So again, just to warm us up, it's called the, the reading system. The system was called, oh. okay, dropping hands. The system was called B. After the B, go on straight to it, come on. Wasn't B S, you one off there, B R. One off again, go over to the A. A. Come on, let's try and get this accurate. I. L. L. Straight up to the E. I'm just going to practice that again, see if we can get yeah. it. Going. Go on, just try it again. Going straight to S. Maybe try it with the pencil. Let's see if that's more accurate today. Try it with that pencil. B R A I L L all the way up. E. That was better, yeah. And then maybe just for a little bit more practice, what did he want to gain? What was he trying to what gain? Was he still looking to gain? Even though he lost his sight. H E he. Very good. Come on. Drop a U. A. Come on. W A. After the A. Go on. N. Next letter after the N. After the N. You've touched the N. Go on, touch it again. N. Hold that pencil firmly. There. Uh, and T E D. He wanted. Write that one down. He wanted. Which hand? That one. Go on, try that one. He wanted. T. Two. After the two, go on, go on. B, straight to it, straight to it, go on, straight to it. To B, go on, next letter, one letter at a time. A, B, that's good. L, all the way up. Go on, up to that E, it must be an E. E, just practice going from L to E. L, now move your elbow. Move that elbow, lift it up a bit. Go. L, E, E, seems to be struggling, go on, go L, and all the way up to E, E. So he wanted to be able to 
Look at this arm warmed up, and then we'll get your speed up. Come on. I want to try something else. We'll try this arm this time, like that. Lift that elbow. You want it to be able. T O two. That was good. R E. Oh, that was good. A. That was accurate. Finish it. Next letter. Go on. After the A. After the A. Touch that A again. Keep your elbow lifted. Keep it lifted like that. A and D. You want it to be able to read. Did you want to say any more? Want you to be able to read R of S O so H so he C O after the O after the O after the O go on straight to it oh yes U would make sense the O U keep that elbow up. L and D so he could wanted to be able to read. So he could keep that elbow up. C A R R Y. So he could carry. Come on, keep that elbow up. Don't tuck it in. When you tuck it in, it gets harder to move. So he could carry. Come on, try again. That's better. O after the O. Carry on. L. E. Nice. L. E. Very nice. Go on, you can do it after the E. Touch the E again. E. A. R. N. I after the I N G. He wanted to be able to read so he could carry on learning. Look, I look what you get all the sense of there. Look, you were just a savage, but no, you went the whole hog. I like it. <laughs> so, what he did is he used six dots and assigned. A, a specific pattern to each letter of the alphabet and the six dots just like that so you've just got a two two and two so six in all three in each row just okay. we'll have a little go at drawing it fabulous yeah. so just, just for practice all right so i'm, I'm going to draw a box like that that jenny showed us and we're going to do, I'll put little tiny dots in and we'll go over them. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you just go over them, makes them a bit a bit darker. So there's number one, just do a little bit. Of the, oh, good, very nice. And another one there. Oh, lovely, I like that. And one there. Very nice, that was good. And one here. That one's number four. Oh, lovely. Very good. And one there. That would be five dots. Little circle. Make a little circle. Okay, that's good enough. And then that's that one there. Do that one there. That would be six dots. So, oh, go on, try it. There, there, there. That's it. Lovely. So that looks looks a bit like a domino. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a domino. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> and <clears throat> he actually found a way to make these dots almost lift up from the page. And your mum should have some medicine there where you can feel the dots on the page. Have a good feel. Right, that's it. can't be frail. But well, obviously they'll probably say paracetamol one every four hours or something along those lines. So That's medicine obvious. is accessible and easier for people who are blind or visually impaired. So if you went into the chemist and you were blind, you'd have to pick up the packet and just with your fingertips, feeling those dots. Instead of reading the letters, 
that would tell you that this is paracetamol extra tablets containing probably containing paracetamol and caffeine it's hard to imagine isn't it really that, that you can you can read just from feeling like that yeah. <clears throat> over the years the word has spread about this amazing way because obviously it was back in the 1800s so it would have been just you know oh you'll never guess what there was this man and he's blind but he can read listen to this and people began talking about this amazing technique and you know enabling people to read despite not being able to see so i just thought for a bit of practice because these two words have got some letters in that we don't often go to let's practice amazing technique Got these A's, got the Q. M. A. A. M. A. Come on, all the way, all the way. I know you're yeah, going to get this there. So come on, all the way, Ona. Come on. Here it is. That. <laughs> I. M. G. Amazing. T. E. C after the C H M I send those fingers back Q after the Q U and then all the way to the top. Amazing technique. Well yeah. done. Yeah. I thought they were good letters, well good words to practice because they've got a couple mm, of yeah. letters in. <laughs> So other countries began to take on this idea, this, this technique, and they made a braille alphabet for their own language. Now by the early 1900s, an English version was created. So just for a bit of practice, the 1900s are part of which century? 1900s are part of the two T. Not T X T W E N T I E T H. Part of the twentieth century. Yeah. Now <clears throat> the English Braille. You should have a copy right there. Looks rather interesting to me anyway. Hello. I thought it might be quite fun if we could do your name in Braille. You should write out the dots. So as you can see, C has got two dots in the in the top. There's C. And then you've got the H. There's the H. That's right. Yeah. There's the R. Very good. Where's the I? Yes. And where's the S? Yes, do you know his point is more accurate on this little piece of paper. Oh, did you see this? <laughs> we might have a day with this today. He just did really well pointing on here. <laughs> oh, you're great. I like it. So, shall we have a go at doing your name? So, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to do a. Um... Just on the page, like just on the paper to, and write the dot. Okay, come on then. So we'll, we'll do and maybe, maybe you could write the letters underneath as well, Chris. Yeah, yeah, let's do it then. Bit of a momentum. <laughs> we'll draw it in, in, in the chart form so that we, it's easier that way, isn't it? So we'll do the C first of all. So we're just going to copy. Okay, which letter are we copying first? We're copying the C. And how many dots are there? Just try a few. How many dots are there on the C? See, there it is there. Count them there. How many? Two. Right. So let's do two dots, first of all. Sit down. Two dots are at the top. You know what I might do? I might do it just to make it a bit easier. You might do it with this. I might make it a bit easier. Just a bit more. 
on the top there. Oh, lovely. And one there. You know what, a little felt tip might be easier. I might find one of those. But that's you've done really well. On the right C underneath. Just the letter the word the letter C, D on A. Is oh oh that was a bit of scribble. C like that. Mm. Okay. Now we're going to do the H, so I'll do another little grid like that. So the H, we'll look. Touch the H again. Where's the H? Touch the H. There it is. And look, it's got one, two, three dots. So let's do three. Try with the pencil again. Three dots. So it's got one in the top corner. Oh, that's good. That will do. And it's got one underneath. Yeah, one here. There it is. There. And it's got one next to it. Oh, okay. There. Maybe I need to do it a bit bigger. Let's write the H underneath. Let's write the H. Down, up, that's lovely. Okay, now we'll do another box for the R. Oh, that's got one, two, three, four. I'm going to do little dots on them to make it quicker. One, two, three, four. And you can do the little circles around the dots if you can. Hold that pencil a bit closer. So that's one. Oh, oh, okay. All right, one, I'll help you. Two, three, four. I'm going to write the letter R underneath, just a little R. So we're going to go straight down and round. Okay? C H R. And we've just got two more to do. I, that's just got two dots. Look. Touch I. Touch the age, touch the eye, there. And it's got one, say it, one, one. and yeah. two. I'll do the dots. You can draw little circles on the dots. On here, you can draw little circles on here, there. That's it, one, and on that little one. That's good. Make it go round. You can do it. Just a little bit like a little bit hard. Uh, and we're going to do I beneath, which is just a line, isn't it? Straight line. Straight. Don't do a circle. Just a straight line. Ooh. Oh, excuse you. There. Better out than in. Just do a straight line down. Go on. I. That's it. A little dot on the top for the I. And then the last letter of your name is the S. Touch the S. There, good. And it's got one, two, three. Yeah, it's got one, two, three. Let's just do that. Finish your name in Braille. Very good. So we're going to just do a little circle there. One, two, and then. Very good try. And we're going to do the letter S underneath. Okay, very nicely done. Okay, that was the. <laughs> oh, <laughs> lovely. Well done, Chris. There we are. Yeah. Lovely. Come on, come on. It's easier here, and then we can film. It's easier. Oh, I know you can do it. It's just a bit of an input. Yeah. <clears throat> now, you probably already know. That um, during the 20th century, it was the um, it was called the century that made the most impact in terms of inventions and the advancement of technology. And during this time, a typewriter was invented. I remember having one as a kid, and I'd be like pretending I was a secretary and writing notes and copying out of books, pretending I was a writer. <laughs> 
they used to have a little, like, what were they called? Petite or something they were called, weren't they? The, oh, the children's I ones. I can't remember mine. <laughs> it was uh, it's a fun time. <laughs> so just for, yeah, probably a little bit more practice. Another piece of technology probably made in the 20th century. Yeah, first thing that pops into your head. Piece of technology invented in the 20th century would be what? See? O M P U S U T. Come on. E. And after the E. After the E. Come on, you don't need to go along every line like that. Touch the E again. E and straight to it. Go on. Oh, computer. Yeah. <coughs> they were, and they were huge. They used to fill a whole room when they were first invented. Absolutely massive, and now you can carry them around in your bag. <laughs> madness. Uh, I know, I know. <laughs> this invention of the typewriter enabled people to actually put braille on the keys. So now people who are blind and are partially sighted could actually write letters and stories, poems even. And again, with the soaring technology, printing machines were being made, and this enabled companies to produce books and other texts in Braille. You can imagine the kind of world it opened up for these people. Absolutely amazing. So they could all start reading all the classic books and the poems that they'd missed out on for so many years. Yeah. That probably they just would have heard and not been able to read themselves. Mm -hmm. But what did you want to say? T H come on up to the H A that M U S T that must. H A very nice. After the A, straight to touch that A again. A got that elbow tucked in again. Lift that elbow up like that. Bend your finger down. Touch the A. A B E that must have B E after the E E. And that must have been a m a m a m. Where you go? M a. Okay, you're going down to that one again. Go on then, move over one. That's why, if you want the Z, go for it. Z, I, try with this, go on. Um, that must have been amazing. F, O, after the O, go on, go on, straight to it. Or, yeah. oh, there's a knock at the front door, I won't be in a minute. Okay, no problem. It was just some letters coming through the door. Ah, right. And, and they, they, I think they gave a little knock as well. Come 
okay, what happened to Wayne? Discuss that again. And I was just um, I was just talking to Jenny about how blind people, I, I just noticed we have a coy look, they must feel like the coyin, you see, can you feel all the little raised bits on coyins? They must have to have a good feel to work out what value it is. See that one on the bottom? You can feel. Got a number two on it. A two, two peepees. Anyway, so you were saying, uh, Jenny was just explaining that, you know, books the text was all in braille and then they had printing press so even blind people would be able to get their work published um and you put that must have been and i think you were you were saying amazing i can't remember whether we quite finished the word yeah, and then we had four amazing four. Oh, that must have been amazing four okay let's just finish that sentence off. that must have been amazing four t H E for the B L I N D for the blind. Go on for the blind. Must be amazing for the blind. Go on, finish it for the blind. P yeah E O. P L E. That must have been amazing for the blind people. No, we can only begin to imagine, can't we? Uh, would you, if you had to read Braille for whatever reason, would you go for a book or a poem first? Ooh. Or would you prefer... If you were going to read something in Braille, do you think you'd go for a book or a poem as your first thing to read? What would you go for? P O E Poem, a poem, why? Why poem? I I So I would go for a poem first because I want to use your finger or the pencil. Want to use a pencil? So I T W O Very slow, go for there again. O Next letter for the O You, okay. After the U. L. After the L. Just one letter at a time, it's all right. You're going very slow, but, but if I'm letting you go slow, I can see that you are moving. It would be B. After the B. Move your arm across if you want. E. I'm not sure you've got, you've got to D. Yeah, it would be. It would be. Can I just give that a little bit of a move? Hold up. Get that moving. There. Go on. It would be. Go on then. We've warmed it up. It would be like a lead weight at the moment. Would be S H O R T. That's better. Go on all the way up for the E. E R. It would be shorter. It would be shorter. T. T, 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 T. What is that? It would be shorter. T. Let me just read just Chris. I'm going to try standing up. So 
answer. It would be it would be shorter than you did the T. Oh, go on, I'll hold it down here and we can use gravity to help you. T H A then than T H than the Come on, shorter than the B. Come on. Oh, straight to it, straight to it. Oh, okay. Oh. That's true. <laughs> water than the book. Yeah, I suppose it's always good to start with something short when you're learning something new. That's yeah. very true, yes. Do you have a particular um, type of poem you like, like a particular period in history or subject? Um, you know, something that you really enjoy listening to. Any particular type of poem that you like? T to B E to B. H O N E S E to be honest to be honest I After the day, after the day, the M wouldn't make sense. I D O, that would make sense. I D O, D O, to be honest, I D O O N, yeah, I D O N, go on. I don't. H A H A H A V. I don't have A N. Up to the end. Up to the end again. N. A N. Oh, I know. I know. Go on. You can do it. Go on, you can do it. I'll help you. A N Y N E P R after the R E very nice P R E after the E I don't think that would make sense but we'll try to be honest I don't have any P R E now then. Touch the M, but I'm not sure if that was just a sort of travelling touch. Let's just carry on and see. Have a little drink, see if that helps, just to refresh you. Go on, have a drink. Have a drink. Have some. So I've seen that just at the moment, Jenny, he's even having struggling to lift the bottle of water up to his mouth. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't quite know what's going on, but you know, we'll just keep going and we'll see. Just melt as much as we need it, don't we? Huh? Any more? Can you hold it? Come on. That's better. Okay, so you said. To be honest, I don't have any P R E F E R E N C E. To be honest, I don't have any preference. Finished or more? Finished. Oh, well, 
that's good to know. I might look at some poems for some of the lessons, see what I can dig out. <laughs> Now you may have the expression before that the English language is a really tricky one to learn because we have so many words that are used for multiple things like sea, the sea at the beach and you know we use our eyes to see or um, flower in the garden and flower that you cook with and then you've got the words for there, there and there obviously three different spellings, three different meanings but you know, no worries if you can't, but I just wondered if you could think of a word that has two meanings or two spellings. Yeah. I know if I, was, if I was put on the spot, I don't think I'd be able to think of any, yeah. but you're far yeah. more intelligent than me. Yeah, yeah. Can you think of a word that has two meanings or, you know, one that sounds the same but has two different spellings? Can you think of one? F. 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 What? Chris, that's really awful. Look, you've got your elbow rested sort of there. <laughs> yeah, try and lift up a bit. That elbow, see so if you've F. O. F. O. Oh, four. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought that one. Four, yes, because four could be F O R, or it could be what was the other letter that you could put in there to make it the number four? What letter would be missing? What letter would you put in to make it number four? U, yes, it could be F O R or F O U R. Four, a nice yes, simple it's one. I could only think of waste, as in rubbish waste, and body part waste. That's all I could think of. See, I told you we're far more intelligent. <laughs> there's, there must be thousands of them, mustn't there? Yeah, but well, when you put on the spot, you're like, oh! Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, am anyway. Yeah. yeah, I mean, even things like ball. That's just come yeah. to me because there's a ball in the room. We've got yeah. that ball there. Or you might be going to a ball or a fancy dress ball. Yeah. I've seen How so many people ever learn English. <laughs> I do not know. <laughs> oh, so to incorporate this, knowing that we had such a tricky language, they had to introduce and adapt the Braille version to include punctuation to make it easier for the readers. Because obviously they could they could read the different spellings of words, but sometimes you just need that bit of punctuation, don't you, <laughs> to you understand it. So, you know, again, a bit of practice. Can you think of a common punctuation that you might see in text? Can you think of a punctuation you might say? F. Mm. That's good. That's right. F. U. L. L. Full. S. That's right, you're the S T O P full stop. Yeah. yeah. Very important. <laughs> like technology in the recent years has really taken off. Because I remember back in my day there was like four channels on the TV, no Wi-Fi, anything. And people who have visual challenges can now use laptops, phones, and iPads, and they can get a voiceover that reads the text for them mm. and because of this, I'm just going to move position he's wanting yeah. to move to the bed and just because we're having so many challenges today I think we'll just go with it go yeah, with the of course. all right so we can sit here let me get some pillows to prop you up there see if that helps oh sit forward a little bit very nice okay and we'll move Jenny <laughs> She comes. There. <laughs> and I'll get my pad. There we go. Uh, oh dear. Somebody I 
no, you just so tired. well. Yeah, yeah, this is tiring for you today, I can tell. Oh, yes. my God, we've got Percy runs away. We'll be having a read of that in a bit. Let's just that. finish this first, if we can. Yeah, there's not much more. Um, so because of the advancement in technology, the younger generation around your age um, are not taking up Braille, which is a shame because, you know, one day, what if their technology doesn't work? You know, it happens to all of us. Our laptops go, our iPads go, we have to get a new phone. But which one of those would you prefer to use? A phone, a laptop, an iPad? What do you think? Just, we'll take it a little bit easier towards the end. <laughs> okay, which would you, do you think you would say to use? C. O. M. D. C O M P. Go on, you're doing great. C O M P. Go on. After the P. U. T. Go on then, all the way up. P e and R. A computer. Very computer. Yeah. Okay. Do you mean like a. a let me just write that down. Computer. I don't know. I'll write this down. Yeah, yeah. Sit up a bit. Do you mean? Do you mean like um, mum's laptop? Or I mean, an iPad is also a type of computer, isn't it? Which one do you mean? Oh, laptop. I like a laptop because I'm one, I'm someone that has about a hundred tabs open at once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's funny, really. I think um, I think iPads are good for certain things. You know, they're good for watching like video clips and things on. Yeah. But I don't think they're much good for you know, if you want to type something or. Yeah. Yeah, I would if if I if I was using an iPad, I would want to have a little separate wireless keyboard to actually yeah. type on. Yeah, on the same, I prefer yeah. to type. Yeah, and funny enough, I find it, have you got a bit of tummy pain that is just, yeah, I've lots a bit of pressure on his tummy. Um, funny enough, I don't know about you, but I even find, you know when you go into, well, imagine you don't, you don't drive, so you won't have to do it, but you know when you go into car parks and they have the um, things where you have to put your registration number in? Yeah. And that the screens are at your eye level and they're flat. I can't find the letters to even oh. I have to go B <laughs> oh. and yet you know when letters are at this yeah. point I could do it no problem. Really Maybe so. that, that isn't your performance field up there then is it? It is, yeah, yeah. it's so true. <laughs> It's a great example of thinking about well how how much easier it is and how much faster we are yes. when things are in our are placed in our performance field. Yeah, it even is. Even for neurotypicals. Yeah, definitely. I always have to have everything um, angled as well. I can't yeah. write. So I have to have everything angled. Yeah, yeah. that's my performance field. <clears throat> Do you want me to just tell you this bit, Chris? Why you're just lying there for a little bit? Yeah, you just tell yeah, us. You're listening away yeah. anyway. The studies have taken place into the lives of people who are blind and have visual difficulties. And it's shown that 90% of adults who learn Braille are employed. <clears throat> now the people that didn't learn Braille, only 30% of them are employed. And that's a, such a huge difference. So for the last few years, there's been people who are now advocating um, for the younger generation and they're trying to make it more attractive for people to learn braille but so far they've been unsuccessful so i just thought see how you feel I mean, you don't have to we could write like a, um, a very short but hard hitting sentence you know that would grab a young adult like you that could be shared on say tv adverts um leaflets that kind of thing, just to, you know, really make the younger generation sit up and take notice. It's always good to have a backup and, you know, a bit more knowledge, expand your skills as much as you can. Let's 
slogan even. It could be just a short slogan to yeah. might encourage younger people. Why is it that, do you know why it is that, that those who haven't learned Braille can't become employed? I think it's um, something to do with the fact that the Braille's needed on the computers, you know, a lot of jobs are computer based, aren't they? Oh, when I, I was, see. So if they yeah. haven't learned Braille, they can't necessarily can't be, even use the computer. That's it, yeah. Uh, so they haven't memorised even where the letters are on the keyboards or... No, or if they have, you know, we can get it wrong, can't you? You can make a mistake, your hands might not be in the right position. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. Such a shame, because obviously 90% are employed. Yeah, 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 yeah. you want to have a go, Chris? Can you say something, have a little go? Go on then. about what you're going to say. Is it A or B or something else? Try not to rest your elbow. If you just, I know it's taking a lot of energy, but if you lift that elbow, you can move around the board better. I know you can. Lift it up. Come on. Do you want me to hold it over there? B. Go on, that's a good start. B. B A. You could maybe start with uh, "Did you know?" or "Take up Braille today because." B. R. Okay. A. Ooh, big bird. Look at that one. B or A, I, nice, go on, L, L, and go for the E then, it must be Braille, I'll just do one word at a time, Braille, and you can rest your arm in between, Braille, Braille, Where are you going? C A Braille can Braille can Braille can O P E O P E O P E N Braille can open Y O U R this is good Braille can open your Braille can open your sit up, sit forward. Come on, get on. E Y E. Come on, E Y E. E Y E. E Y E. -E. S. Braille can open your eyes. Very good. Amazing. Braille can open your eyes. T two A N E is that W to a new Braille can open your eyes to a new Come on. W O R 
Atelier Con L. D. I love that phrase. <laughs> Braille can open your eyes to a new world. That is. <laughs> that was excellent. I love the way you've said it can open your eyes and yeah. link it in that way. Oh, Braille. wow. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. You have you could have that as like the the main intro for the um, advert or whatever, and it'd have to be spoken because yes, most of the blind people can't see it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was thinking. Can open your eyes to a new world. Wow, they need to inform you, Chris. <laughs> yeah, and then you could explain how. And yeah. give some examples and maybe show some examples of people who have learned braille that have got really good jobs and have you know really been able to expand their, yeah. their world you know that would be good uh, have a, yeah have a fulfilling life yeah 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 you could say why wouldn't you why would you ignore this opportunity uh, well, you can open your life to a new world why would you waste this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that would be really good. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely fantastic. I think they definitely need to employ you. <laughs> <laughs> Get it on some TV adverts. Or maybe some leaflets. <laughs> well, well done, Chris. Absolutely Did you want to, you want to say anything to Jenny to finish? Because... And you've done ever so well, Stan. I know it's been no. quite challenging for you, but I'm yeah. really proud of you. You never gave up. Yeah. So determined. Really proud of you because you have, we can see that you found it really hard to just. So did you want to say anything to Jenny? T H A M. Oh, that's nice. Okay, thank you. Why? Um. Go on, lift that elbow up. Lift the elbow. Why? Oh. Lift it up, and then you you you're finding it so hard. Come on, try with the pencil. Why? Oh. Um. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Any more? <laughs> Any more? All finished. Finished. There we are. Oh no! Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Certainly opened up my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to press wow. stop recording there.